Michelle was your healthy, personable college student enrolled at Penn State University. She was the captain of the women's varsity tennis team and quite the social butterfly. When she wasn't studying and chiseling away at classes for her degree in cybersecurity, she was busy coordinating several philanthropic events and submerging herself in college activities. In January of 2016 though, her life changed as a brutal snowstorm swept the state. Michelle took one step outside, slipped on a patch of black ice, and smacked her head against concrete. Though she was in excruciating pain, because she didn't lose consciousness, she figured that she would apply an ice pack to her head and monitor her symptoms. So about two days later, there was like an hour and a half period where I just didn't even know where I was. Like, I didn't know if I was home in New Jersey, home at school, couldn't tell you what day it was, couldn't tell you the month. My boyfriend looked at me and he was like, we're going to the emergency room the second the snow stops. Once the snow cleared up, Michelle went to the ER. She was told that everything was fine, but she knew she wasn't. For years, she suffered from constant chronic headaches, extreme fatigue, disorientation, light sensitivity, speech and vision impairments, and social anxiety. She had to withdraw from school as she continued to try and seek a doctor who could help her. Then, Michelle met Dr. Christine Grease at JFK Johnson Rehabilitation Institute. I remember the first thing that we had to do was not only address the migraines, which we were working uh, hand in hand with her neurologist, but we also had to address the visual complaints because with every waking moment, the eyes are working and it was a struggle for her. So we had to address the vision, we had to address the balance. Uh, we worked on a few things and of course, we didn't want to put her on, uh, at hold completely in her tracks. We wanted her to be able to keep on uh, doing the day-to-day -day things that she enjoys doing. So ever since coming here and meeting with Dr. Grease and having all these treatments through her, my life has improved drastically. I feel more like a normal person than I have in the last three years than I could have ever even imagined possible. I didn't think that being where I am today was even possible without her. Though she's still experiencing issues with her vision, concentration, and balance more than five years later, Michelle is confident that she will heal from her invisible scar and bounce back from her concussion.